Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game and the new updates that we're getting from the devs. For the past month, Gun Interactive has been teasing a lot of news to the game and they've been kind of feeding the fans a little breadcrumb trail. It all started with an Instagram account for Maria Flores, who is the victim that has gone missing, sister of Anna Flores, who is the main victim in the game. So the Instagram account has been created as if Maria is a real person that has gone missing in Central Texas. The photos on the account are kind of paying a tribute to Maria, and they are of flowers and also some scenery. There's a newspaper's page there that has some really interesting news, and one of them is about the gas prices that have increased. It says that a Muerto County gas station attended spoke with us about this recent surge and what it means for his business. I can't imagine that being anyone else but the cook. And in another local business headline, it says the slaughterhouse has been closed for good. What does that mean? That people don't have access to meat anymore? Is that why the family has turned to human meat? I don't know, but I just find it interesting and funny. It all just adds a bit more speculation about this gruesome family and place where these victims are. The newspaper also has some dates on it, which could be potentially teasing a release date for the game, but we don't know yet. Anyway, the fans have eventually been led to the game Petals on each.io and I've got some footage of the gameplay here. You basically start as Maria Flores and the car is broken down so you just have to go down this trail. You have a little journal that you have pictures of flowers there. As you follow the trail you will see those flowers and you can see you have to match those pictures and just complete the picture album. It always starts with a very happy mood, the music is very pretty, the sun is shining but then as the sun starts going down the mood starts changing slightly and then the rabbit appears. So Maria starts chasing the rabbits and then eventually the rabbit rabbit turns out dead and that's when things start getting a little bit creepier. Eventually it becomes night and that's when things get really creepy and when Maria takes one picture of the rabbit, Johnny appears and that's a big jump scare that I had when I was trying this. So then she runs to the house and that's where you get the looks of Sissy and then she gets captured, it all goes south, we all know how this ends. But this is such a great prequel for the game and I have to say Gun Interactive they're doing a fantastic job at promoting this game. We don't know when the game is coming out, it could be January, it could be February, it could be March, but they're just building up such an expectation and it could be a bad thing, it could all blow up, however I don't think it will. And the fact that there's no combat in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I really feel this is not going to be so much of a competitive game but more of a party horror game. All in all, I'm so excited for all this and I can't wait for more news and I know you guys do too. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think the abilities will be of Sissy and Johnny. Because we kind of know how the cook, the hitchhiker and Leatherface work. The cook can hear through the walls and he can pinpoint victims. The hitchhiker can kind of chase the victims down narrow passages. And Leatherface, obviously, he's the beast. He can cut through some obstacles and he's the big killer of the game. So this weekend we have the Scarefest weekend and Christina Cabell is participating with some announcements about the game. We also spent that she's doing the voice of Sissy. So I'm sure you all are gonna stay tuned. I'm gonna try and keep you guys as up to date as I can. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit the like button and subscribe for more news on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We also cover Evil Dead and I will see you all next time.